All right. I was working on this um, as a Euro profile that I got from Brian up in Northern Ireland, Slim Pickens. Um, it's a um, six pin, really tough, tight keyway, awesome bidding. And really nice tolerances. I'm going to show you the key. This is the key for it. Check that key out. Amazing. I managed to pick this one twice since I got it last autumn, I think. Um, once back then, and once now this morning. And I, <clears throat> I was surprised to get it open. So um, I continued trying to pick it uh, while the camera was running. I got nothing. <laughs> I got the false set, but that's about it. So um, we're not going to focus on that today. Instead, we're going to focus on the Coral Made in China padlock. This is a 40 millimeter padlock that I I don't remember where I got it. Um, nothing special at all. It's just a plain Jane 40 millimeter Chinese padlock. I think it's a five pin, and um, I have no key for it. But we're going to try it. And this one, the uh, the core is kind of jammed against the body, so I'd, it's really hard to get any feel or feedback from the lock and I have to have top of the keyway bottom of the keyway makes the um, the plug jam up so I have to use top of the keyway and uh, I'm going to try a um, euro hook pretty heavy tension one Oh, it's overset already. How about that? So one, three, two, nope, reset. One, three, two, nope. Come on. There we go. That's one, three, two, four, and five is left. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty difficult to um, to pick a lock if you can't uh, have uh, feel any feedback from the picking. So that's the coral five pin, made in China. Finally, I can. This. So, um, all right. Next up, uh, probably would be the um, challenge lock I got from Texas Jim. Seven pin. I know that Texas Jim have put some really nasty uh, pin and pin business in this one. So. Um, Soon I'll post a video on that. I picked it now, um, I think it's three times or so. It works, kind of. So, um, until then, thanks for watching and see you soon.